Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and this is Amelia Budgets and thank you so much for tuning in. Here on my YouTube channel, I post a variety of different budgeting related videos. Um, I try to do that three times every week, um, but if that is content that sounds like something that you may be interested in, I would love it if you would subscribe. So, um, I'm back. I did not mean to take like a week and a half off of YouTube by any means. Um, basically, it was just that like I had posted, on, I think, on the community tab on Good Friday, which was what date was that? I think that was the 7th of April um, because I was supposed to have a video up on the 7th where I like went over my first year on being monetized on YouTube. But that video, honestly, I still haven't filmed it and it's proving to be more challenging than I thought it would be. But um, I was supposed to have that video up on Friday and then I didn't and I said that you would get it the following week. And then basically what ended up happening was, so for a background in case you aren't located in Ontario, Good Friday, which is the Friday before Easter, is a public holiday in Ontario where I live. So basically like everywhere is closed. So I did not have to work on that Friday. Um, but then the following Monday, which is like Easter Monday, um, it's not a public holiday, but I had actually taken it as a vacation day because I wanted to have like a four day weekend, but then work was very busy. So I wasn't able to take that Monday off, which was fine, but essentially I got home from my parents' cottage because I was at my parents' cottage that weekend on, um, Sunday night and I was like I have to film and then I just like didn't want to and I just didn't have time during the week and I have said this before but honestly if I want to keep on top of YouTube I need to be very purposeful with my time just because I really don't have time anymore to film during the week. I used to be able to like film a video in the morning before I started work or film a video at lunchtime or like anything like that and I really haven't been able to make that work um, over the last few months at my job so it just it means that if I want to film I have to film on the weekend and if I'm not home on the weekend then it sort of throws off um, my schedule a little bit so again I'm totally fine there's nothing wrong and I appreciate people who have reached out to ask about that kind of stuff again 100% nothing wrong it's just I got a little bit busy and then I got behind when it came to YouTube but what that does mean is that you guys should see a video every day this week <laughs> because I need to catch up so because I need to catch up today what you're going to see is my week two spending check-in for the month of April so week two for me went actually from March the 31st up until March the, or April the 6th. Um, I am not a cash budgeter. I use my debit card for everything. And I film in these videos to check in for my four variable expense categories, being groceries, dining out, gas, and miscellaneous, hopefully not going too far over budget. So let's flip to the next page and I will go through all of my transactions. Um, and just as a being a little bit forewarned. I originally was planning on combining this video and my week three within one video, but I have a lot of transactions this week and I just thought that that video might be a little bit long. So I'm gonna split it out as I normally would. Um, and that is what I did. So yeah, let's get started. So the first transaction that I had was on April the 1st. This was in the miscellaneous category. I did go to Staples and I spent $10 dollars and 84 cents there this was actually on like it wasn't like a gift gift which is why I'm not taking it out of um like my gift sinking fund I'm actually gonna just indicate here that it is a gift though because this wasn't actually for me I was just picking up something for my sister just because um I wanted to <laughs> so that was ten dollars and 84 cents next was on the in the groceries category as well this was on the first um i did go to farm boy and i spent six dollars and 99 cents i was actually going like on the was it the first or was it the second i think it was the first yeah it was the saturday night on the saturday night um i actually um was hanging out with one of my friends throughout the day but then that evening i went back to my parents house um for dinner because my grandparent um my grandmother was coming over and um 
I picked up a little cake from Farm Boy because my sister had sent it to me and I guess it had gone viral on TikTok. I'm not actually on TikTok, but it had gone viral on TikTok and it was like a chocolate cake with like vanilla icing and it had like mini eggs on the top of it. And I'm not actually a chocolate cake person. So like I didn't have a piece of it, but my sister had sent it and like there was a Farm Boy near me when I was out. So I picked that up so that they could have that for dinner. Um, and then finally, I think my last transaction that I had on the first was um, in the dining out category. As I had just mentioned, um, I did meet up with my friend this day. So we were like out and about. It was actually a really, really, really nice day in Ontario where I live. Um, it's actually been super nice the last like few days actually as of when I'm filming this, which is the 16th. Again, very, very late, but um, it was a super nice day. So I was out with my friend and we did stop and got sushi at a restaurant and that cost $20 and 30 cents. Um, this was a little bit, I want to say it was a little bit disappointing just because I remember going to this restaurant, I want to say like back in like November or December, I could honestly go back and see because like, it's not like I go to sushi. Like I mean to take that back. I went to sushi this week. <laughs> Anyways, doesn't matter. But, um, I remember going there back in like, I want to say November or December for dinner. And it was like very, very reasonably priced. Um, and it was not as reasonably priced this time around. And that's wild because it like, it wasn't that like back in November, December, like inflation was a thing. Like I remember complaining about the prices of stuff back in, back in November and December, but just the fact that like six months later, it was like that much more expensive. I was a little bit taken aback and it was still very good. It was just like, I don't necessarily think it was worth the full $20 and 30 cents for what I got, but, um, yeah, is what it, it is what it is. Um, the next thing that I had was on the second, um, this was in the miscellaneous category and I did go to giant tiger and I spent $31 and 64 cents um so far I had mentioned that like my office was having to go back to the like sorry my work was having to go back to the office more that does not um I don't know how to describe it it doesn't as strictly affect my department um, I'm not client facing at all so some people do have to go back into the office like more but I'm so far or my department is so far sort of like exempt for that, but we do have to go in, not necessarily like on a regular basis, but more like if there's like a company event or if there's something that like our manager is specifically telling us we have to come in for, we do have to come in. And when I was at Giant Tiger, I was actually there with my mom. Um, she was picking up like, uh, I think she's getting like Easter stuff and they had like two nice like work shirts. So they were just like, like I want to say that they were tank tops, but like the, the thing was like, or the strap was like thicker. Um, and they were just like, they were flowy and they were nice. And like with a blazer, they will look nice. And like they were from giant tiger. So they were like $15 each or $14 each or something. So that was $31 and 64 cents from giant tiger because I did need some more, um, like work clothes. Honestly, um, I was going through my wardrobe the other day and I, definitely need to get myself some summer clothes. I don't know if I'm going to pull some of the money that I have in my um, clothing sinking fund in order to buy some summer clothes. Um, I also don't want to necessarily like rush it. Um, I was looking at the Old Navy website and they have honestly a lot of nice stuff but like I think I added, I want to say like eight items to my cart in total. And it was going to be like over $200, which I don't really like, I definitely don't have that money to spend in the month of April, but I do think that ultimately I'm probably going to have to budget for that kind of stuff coming soon. Cause I really, really don't have very many things for the summer. So yeah, $31 and 64 cents from giant tiger, but that's, that's not really like summer items. Like it is if I'm going to work, but like, I'm not going to wear one of these shirts. Like if I'm out on the weekend with one of my friends. So we'll see. Um, the next transaction that I had was on the second. This was in the miscellaneous category and off of Amazon. I spent $15 and 36 cents. Um, I actually got myself an Apple watch. I didn't um, buy it. <laughs> um, actually I won it at my work, which was really, really cool. So it's an Apple watch eight. Um, it doesn't have like um, cellular or like data or anything. It's just cause like the normal thing that like would have to connect to your phone, but I'm super happy that I got that. And it was like a hundred percent free, but I did want to get an order myself some like protector cases for the screen. So that was $15 and 36 cents. 
And then on the second off of Amazon in the miscellaneous category, I did get another like gift item, um, which was $20.66 off of Amazon. But again, it's not like a birthday gift and it's not like a Christmas gift or anything. So I chose not to take that money out of my gift sinking fund. I did have to spend some of the money out of my gift sinking fund this month because I have like birthdays that I need to spend money on. Um, but ultimately at the end of the month, if I'm like, really really over and miscellaneous I will take that $30 out of my gift sinking fund in order to reconcile this budget because again for me personally when I go over budget I tend to get a little bit discouraged so um, I try to make sure that at least um, overall when I look at all of my variable expenses I try to stay under budget with that just so that just mentally that just helps me out. So yeah, $20.66 off of Amazon. The next transaction that I had was on the second and this was for gas and this was $30, $39. I don't think I had gotten gas for like quite a few weeks at this point, which is not great for me. Um, I like getting gas every week. Like I try to do that. I don't always need to, but the fact that like I had gotten to the point where I needed to put $39 into my gas tank, I don't love that. It just kind of stresses me out a little bit. So yeah. $39 was on gas. Um, next was on the third. This was in the groceries category and I did go to Loblaws and I spent $56.13. But how much of this? $48 of this was on those salad kits. So the salad kits off of Loblaws are $12 per salad kit and they don't have tax on them, which is actually less expensive than if you order them from like the delivery service, which makes sense. Cause like, even though it's free delivery, it's not really free delivery. So I had gotten myself four salads for um, the week off of Loblaws and that was 50, like that was $48. And then I got myself something else for the extra, what is it, $8 and 13 cents. So yeah, that was from Loblaws. Then on the third as well, I did in the groceries category, go to Freshco and I spent $10.43. I assume that this was probably on like produce items, but again, honestly, at this point, this is almost two weeks later. So I don't fully remember what that was, <laughs> but yeah, $10.43 from Freshco. Then on the fourth in the miscellaneous category, I did go to Shoppers Drug Mart and I spent $5.64. I don't remember what this was on. I wrote, do I remember going to Shoppers Drug Mart? It was on the fourth, which was, I don't know what day of the week that was. Yeah, I honestly, I don't remember what this was. I'm sorry, you guys, but I spent $5.64. It would have been something that was $5,499. Mm, yeah, I don't remember, but yeah, Shoppers Drug Mart, $5.64. Then on the fifth in the miscellaneous category, I did go to a lint store and I spent $18.02. This was on just like some Easter chocolate that I wanted to get for my family because this was the week before Easter. And then on the fifth um, in the dining out category, I did get sushi and I spent $5.76. It wasn't actually $5.76. I had a $10 credit. So it was actually like $15.76, but I only spent $5.76. Uh, the next transaction that I had, um, unfortunately, I'm putting this in the gas category. Um, I did have to pay for parking and it was $20 to pay for parking. So it was very expensive to pay for parking. Um, again, I might have to start like budgeting that into like my gas um, transactions every month um, because uh, I've been having to go places that and pay for parking more frequently than I really ever have before. So yeah, um, $20 for parking. And then on the sixth, um, in the dining out category, I did get myself a poke bowl or a poke bowl. I'm not really sure. It's like a, a bowl with like fish and vegetables and rice and stuff. And that was $15 and 37 cents. And then I believe my last transaction was on the sixth. Um, so this was, this poke bowl was for my lunch. And then on the sixth for dinner, um, I was going back to my, so the sixth, if I'm not mistaken, was the Thursday, or if it wasn't the Thursday, this should be on the Thursday. Um, this was the Thursday before Good Friday. Again, as I said, I had Friday off. So I went back to my parents' house on the Thursday night. They were at a party and because we were going up to the cottage on Friday morning. So I stayed over at my parents' house that night. But then my grandmother called and asked if I wanted to go for dinner. So we went for dinner and I paid for dinner and it was $29.80 from Swiss Chalet. And that was everything for week number two which is obviously like a ton of transactions um 
I don't really have anything to say about that. Um, Katie of the house did her, um, like I think it was her week one as well, her week one of April budget check-in and she spent a lot of money too. And she was like, I spent a lot of money, but I don't care because I budgeted for it. And I'm trying to sort of like adapt that mentality a little bit too. So yeah, anyways, let's do my totals. So for groceries for week number two, I ended up spending a total of $73.55. So if you take my balance from the week before, which is $236.01, and you subtract the $73.55 that I spent, it means I have $162.46 left to spend in groceries, which actually is not that bad. Again, at a weekly level, that's not good because I try to spend about $60 every week on groceries, but because I only spent $3.99 on week one, it means overall I'm very under budget when it comes to groceries. Like I have $80 per week for the next two weeks technically to spend on our groceries and I'm probably not going to spend that. So yeah, that I am not mad at at all, $162.46. The next one is not as good, um, and this is dining out. So I actually spent a total of $71.23 in dining out. So I had $116.70, I spent $71.23, leaving me with $45.47, which is, again, not great. Um, I try to spend about $40 every week on dining out. So I was just a little bit over in week one, but I spent almost double my budget in week two, meaning that technically for week three and four, I only have about $20 per week in dining out. And that is going to be a little bit trickier. So we'll see how I do there. Um, but ultimately, at the end of the day, if I can average out to about $100 per week spent on groceries, which again, I know is a lot of money for a single person, person who's like only buying food for themselves but if I can still try to average myself out to about a hundred dollars per week it's not the end of the world it's just not ideal um but yeah anyways the next category that I have is gas and technically because I did get gas and then I had to pay for parking I spent a total of 59 dollars on gas this week so I had actually budgeted my, budgeted myself 120 dollars for gas for the month I didn't spend anything the first week so I had 120 left leaving me so far because I spent with 59 with 61 dollars for gas which actually should probably be okay that's just a lot of money to spend on like my car in one single week but I tried to look for other places for parking and they're just I didn't have any other options so yeah that was $59 and then finally, I have miscellaneous. So miscellaneous this month, I upped. I'm very happy <laughs> that I was able to up this budget just because I have in the past really like struggled when it comes to like my miscellaneous spending and kind of like feeling bad <laughs> when I spend money on myself miscellaneously. But I'm very happy with what I um, basically again, like a part of it is to do with the fact that like, I knew I was getting a bonus in the month of April, like I, good things were happening for me. Um, and I was able to do what kind of like my plan was for the year, which was $100 per paycheck or $200 per month in miscellaneous spending. And I actually didn't spend anything the first week when it came to miscellaneous spending. So even though this first, second week, I spent a total of $102.16, I'm not actually that far over budget. Because again, if you take $200 and you subtract that one dollars to 16 it means that I have $97.84 left over in miscellaneous which again is a slightly over budget because ideally this would be a hundred dollars or more but it's not the end of the world so if you add all of these categories up this second week of April I actually spent a total of $305.94 which is a lot of money simply because like my monthly budget, I do $60 for gas, $40 for dining out. Um, what did I do for, yeah, or sorry, I do $60 for groceries. I don't do $60 for gas. Um, I do $60 for groceries, $40 for dining out, gas, what is that, 120 divided by four. So I do $30 for gas, and then I'm doing $50 per week in miscellaneous. So $180 per week. So because I spent like $305, it means like I'm over like $125 over budget. But because I ha didn't spend, like I spent so little money this second or this first week, I'm actually left with $366.77. So 
So technically, again, that 180 times two, that's 360. So technically, I am under budget. Am I under budget in every single category for this paycheck? Absolutely not. But I am under budget when it comes to all of my variable spending. So hopefully, again, because I'm filming this video so late, I already know <laughs> what I was spending in week number three, which like spoiler alert a little bit wasn't great, but I'll explain all that when I get to week three. But basically I just, 366 for two weeks is like, it's not a bad thing when it comes to my budget, especially given the fact that like what I used to be giving myself like $10 a week in dining out and $50 for the entire month in miscellaneous. So again, I'm very happy that I was able to up those categories this month after having or trying to do a little bit of a low spend back in March. But yeah, anyways, that is it for today. Thank you again, you guys so much for tuning in again. My name is Amelia and this is Amelia Budgets. Again, I'm very sorry for my little hiatus and hopefully that doesn't happen again. But honestly, at this point, like I can't really make a ton of promises. It really, really just depends on the time that I have on the weekends to film videos because I just really haven't been finding the motivation to like work a full day where I have to be like so like mentally engaged with like my job and then coming or like not coming home because I'm not commuting, I'm working from home, but just like logging off and being like, okay, it's time to do YouTube. And for me, again, it's not a very good situation to be in just because I'm not at the point in my budgeting journey that I can really get away with not budgeting. Um, I thought at this point I'd be better than that, but honestly, like I'm still not fully there. I do really rely on doing these videos especially these weekly check-ins and like setting up a month as a whole um and like the fact is is that like normally like I would have like set up um like for again, for example, like you're going to later in the week, see a video because Friday, um, which I believe is April the 21st, uh, I think it's the 21st. Um, that's the paycheck that I'm budgeting like completely on its own. Um, just because of how the, my biweekly budgets fell. Um, but then I also have to set up my May budget and it's just like, there's a lot of things that, I've been procrastinating a little bit and I don't love doing that just because I need to be able to kind of like plan stuff out because when I see money in my checking account just like sitting there and I don't know what I'm doing with it, I, it, it, like it just, it worries me still. So yeah, but anyways, that's it for today. Thank you again, you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I hope you all have an amazing day and tomorrow should be my paycheck number one um, April budget closeout because I've done week one and week two. So yeah, have an amazing evening, everybody. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. Goodbye.